Hi, I'm Allison and I am a licensed massage therapist and Reiki master here at Hotter Not Yoga Massage Studio and Edie asked me to share about Reiki with you guys. So today I'm going to give a describe a little bit what Reiki is, uh, what Reiki means, and just go through a brief practice with you guys that you can tack on at the end of your meditation, at the end of your yoga practice. Uh, in the middle of the day, really. It's so simple and so easy. Um, so maybe you've heard of Reiki before, maybe you haven't, but it's definitely becoming more popular in our culture. And the act of practicing Reiki is as simple as laying the hands on someone or above someone or something or, I mean, you can give Reiki to an animal, a plant, yourself. Um, it's usually a practice in person, but you can also do distance Reiki, which is what we'll practice today. The type of Reiki that I'm trained in comes from Japan, and um, from the early 1900s is when it was created, and the translation for Reiki, there's several translations, but one of them is universal life force energy or spiritual energy, um, one that I felt comfortable with when I was learning how to practice Reiki was um, thinking of it as like active prayer. And while the, the, the Reiki I teach is very specific and, and you have to go through an attunement process and all sorts of different things, if you were to take a class with me, chances are you probably practice your own type of Reiki. Have you ever put your hands on someone to comfort them? Have you ever put your hands on your head to comfort yourself? Of course you have. So today we are going to use whatever Reiki you have within you, whatever unconditional love you have within you. And we're going to spread it to the inhabitants of Earth. So what I want you to do is rub your hands briskly together. I want you to get that prana going, get that chi going, feel the friction, and then separate your hands. And I want you to feel the energy kind of pulsing back and forth between your hands. Then I want you to take this area, the heart chakra area, and I want you to push with it and reach out to the space between your hands and really feel that unconditional love there. And go ahead and place one hand on top of the other. It doesn't matter which one. And imagine a globe, the earth, sitting right here in the palm of your hand. And there's different ways you can do it. You can visualize the earth rotating, literally see the different continents and the oceans, or you can sit here and list the different countries if you want, or if you have very specific people you'd like to send Reiki to, you can do that. But as you do that in your mind or out loud, however you choose, just go ahead and cup it so you're holding it in your hands with that unconditional love being sent to it. And you can do this for a minute, you can do it for 10 minutes, however long you'd like to. And just be sure you really connect to that space, to the heart space, and send that love to the earth so we can heal, so we can get through this together. So after however long you do that for, go ahead and just let it go. Rub your hands together again. Separate them like you did last time. Go ahead and reach out with your heart chakra again. Get that area, really connect to the space between your hands for that unconditional love. And then I want you to put it on yourself. And take a deep breath in and exhale as long as you'd like. And just to remember that one, you are not alone. Two, we are all in this together. And three, you are doing a good job from your little corner of the world, your little space, your little quarantine space of loving and healing your family and yourself. You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. From my heart to yours, namaste.